What is up guys, Teeth and Teeth Gaming uh, with another Black Ops 2 video and it's going to be one of my best gameplays to date which is 35 and 5 on Domination on Plaza and we're rolling with my favorite class, my sh I call it my shoddy class but it's uh, the Air A70 MCS shotgun with bloodshot camo. I have for um, attachments I have long barrel and quick draw handle. Secondary I'm rocking the DSR 50 sniper with bloodshot camo and a ballistic CPU. For wild cards, I have overkill. That's how I have my sniper. And for my perks, I'm perk one is lightweight, perk two is fast hands, perk three is dexterity, and lethal is bouncing medi, no tactical. And um, this game gameplay is pretty campy, I guess. I like to call it nice double betty off the start. I like to call it more of like a support camp though, because in domination, like I like to sit around flags and just try and clear them out for my team to come in and cap them. Like I'd rather get the kills. Let someone else get the capture points than me going down and risking it. Like you see a lot, there is a lot of me just kind of waiting around for people like this guy to run by and uh, pick up a quick kill. And I'm not gonna lie, this shotgun is definitely my favorite weapon in this game so far. I haven't really gave anything much of a chance, but that's just because this shotgun is amazing. I really can't get enough of it, and the sniper is just absurd. Like here's my perfect example. I could easily have gone and killed him and capped. So I take the kill, and now instead of going to cap, I let my teammates cap it. I call in my care package, and now I'm going to wait because I see this UAV, or on my UAV, I see this guy just around the corner. I'm going to camp. I also have a care package coming, so it's not like I'm going to rush and die, possibly use my care package. Which turns out to be a uh, hunter. Yep. So I toss up my hunter, and crazy enough, it picks up a double. Wait for it. Boom. There's a double. I think that was... Uh, Defending too, get my uh, Hellfire missile. I think I only get, I think I get two with this one. Yep, there it is. We pick up the double, and so right now I think well, I can't really see my score. It's kind of hard to. Uh, in the previous screen, it's really small, but like I said, this is a perfect example of camping. Right now, I'm just watching the flag, making sure no one's taking it. I could easily be running and gunning, but for those of you guys that have played the game, you realize that the sniping in this game is a lot different. It's not it's not a running gun type and snipe or type of snipe rather. It's a sit back, uh, pick your shots, and just try not to miss. Which I do all right for some of the game, but then you'll see there's a part where I'm defending B, where I just do terrible. Nice double shotgun kill. I pick up a lot of them. Just this shotgun is fairly re uh, reliable. I notice a couple times you'll even see in this video there are some times where I feel they should have been kills, but they aren't. But Overall, it is definitely more reliable than any other shotgun in other Call of Duties I've played, anyway. Right here, another perfect example. I, let, I do let them cap it, I'm a little late, but here's where I think I should have killed him. Right here, like, I look away after that hit marker, I'm like, oh, he's dead. But other than that, like, every video game is not, or no, sorry, not every video game. No video game is perfect, so I feel that that's going to happen sometimes, and I'm okay with that. Uh, what do I give this one? Counter UAV. I was say. Oh, um, death machine, solid. This right here is what kind of kills my overall kill to death ratio, which is still ends up at 7.0, which I'm really not complaining about. But I get three deaths while using this thing, and it's just because I'm aggressive with it. And I just can't afford to be aggressive with this. I pick up probably five or six kills with it in the end, but right here, killed from behind. I knew I was going to die, so I just want to pick up that kill. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the death machine. I actually love that. Great idea. How you can like take it out again once you spawn. It's. I never really would have thought of it for anything else, but I like it a lot. Right here's again being aggressive and spraying and getting killed from the side. Just decided to not look in the, the club. I call it. I love running through the club and hearing that music. Just it's like it's like an attempted techno dubstep feel. Every time I run through it, I'm just like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Here, I think I pick up my third death because of the death machine. Oh, no, I don't die this time. We get a nice little spray kill, and then we panic. And we escape using the dolphin dive. Like, oh, I thought I was dead for sure, and they're fucking going for it. Whoop. We survive. Panic. Oh, no, what do I do? I don't really know what I was doing there, but I didn't die, so that's a plus. 
And now this is what I, I like to do a lot because oh, I guess I, I'm playing by myself in domination, so I have no team. So I tend to go off uh, by myself a lot and just rely on myself rather than being because like, I I don't know people don't usually com communicate that well in like public. Uh, so I, I like to go off by myself and just watch my own my, watch my own back, watch my own corners, just and try and uh, not cap because as you seen I didn't cap or even try to cap. I just get the kill and run through it. But when you're off by yourself like that anyway, I think it's pretty pointless to try and cap. I think anyway. I'm just not a, I'm not a like pure uh, objective player. Although it does give you way more points in Black Ops too. It's just not something I do. And I think this is where I, I I think this is where I kind of start camping with my sniper. I think I think I climb up the ladder. Oh, there's the club music. Oh yeah. Um. I come up on the ladder and one of the uh, one of the overlooks we'll call it. It's an overlooking B. There's one at either end, so I guess either end of the map that is. Friendly UAV inbound. Um, yeah, as you can see once again, I, I see I have guys coming behind me, so I'm like I'll let them do the little rushing at first. I'll go off just an alternate route, kind of take the long way around, hopefully make me survive. Um, yeah, pick up. See, like, I could go help him cap, but I don't want to put myself out in the opening. Out in the open, rather. Where I could get killed. It's just... And because of it, I pick up the kill, I save him, and we get the cap. So, really a win-win for everyone there. And this is where my camping kind of starts. It does cost me two deaths, I think. And this is where my fail sniping is. The first one I felt should have hit. The second and third I know shouldn't. But... Yeah, <laughs> just looked down. I was kind of pissed at the time. It was like, it was stupid death. death machine spinning up. I feel like sometimes my connection really is bad enough that my sniping is behind a bit. But that's because if for those of you guys are like, oh, you're just blaming your connection because you missed your shots, whatever. Which I I don't. I'm not blaming it for that. Like I do my shots. I'm not a great sniper by any means. But sometimes I do feel it's my connection because I've oh, my ping is probably 130. Ooh, like right here. I knew that one was a miss, but hit marker, assist. Uh, a 130 ping is uh, pretty hard to play on sometimes. That's why. That's another reason why I'm not running a gun. It's impossible when people have. Not impossible. It's just a lot harder to get a better score. Uh, like I've seen like people like Wings who plays on like a 100 ping and he's like losing his shit. He thinks it's that hard to play on, but I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm playing on a 140. That's probably why I'm not nearly as good as him, but, and plus I just don't have the same skill, but that's just, I accept that, I'm perfectly okay with me not being a Halo pro. Nice little sway shot there. And here's some fail, oh, panic. I'm just like, well, let's just wait it out. I'm pretty sure I pick up a kill with it, with the Betty, I'm not sure. And right now I'm just trying to keep a B, they, they do have B, but I'm trying to keep a kind of, the center of the map on lockdown, so I'm I'm trying to funnel people towards our our team, so they can pick up kills and hopefully push. You'll see right here, I thought he died, and so I go all commando Rambo mode, and look right here in my UAV. You see that red dot? For some reason, I did not see it. Stupid, stupid on my part, cost me death. I just I tend to just kind of. It's weird because sometimes I watch the UAV for a while, and then other times I'll just look at it or not look at it and run around. Uh, and it cost me a death, so kind of made my score a little worse. And right here, yeah. So right now, I'm just working my way around behind them. Pick, and it gets me a little spray kill. I love shotgun kills. It's so satisfying seeing them ragdoll. Just the animation is great. Pick up a knife on this guy camping. And right here, I can we, my Betty get a kill here in a second? A double, I think? Because I do get the Hellfire to end the game. Miss this night. I missed the next night too, I do believe. So now we lost B. But we're still comfortably in the lead. 178 to 119 or 118. Which is, I think it's safe to say we win this game with a minute left. And they could triple cap and end it though. Another fail snipe. There's the double Betty kill. No, a single Betty kill. I lied. Don't listen to me, I'm a liar. Just camping, hoping this guy's going to walk around the corner. He does, I miss. We hit the second, yay. I don't know where my kills come from. Oh, shotgun kills right here. I'm um, by myself, and they're trying to kind of flank me, kill me. 
This guy almost got me. I was a little, a little slow on the reaction time there. Watching V just to, like again, like I said again, funnel him. But my team is all around behind me, so I think we're all right to just aim down sights for a bit. Just look around. Oh, yeah, that happened when my uh, screen went to uh, a like energy saver. Panic, <laughs> panic shotguns. Five shells later, we get the kill. Get my hellfire. I see there's eight seconds left, I think. And oh, I'm like I tried to get it off as quick as possible with the double. Got the dragon fire. Try and get it. Don't. And that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, this was in a uh, theater, so it doesn't show my final kill cam or my final score. But you can count the kills. It is 35 and five. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. All right, peace, guys.